We have reached my tomb. It is molded from the very mud that clings to me. We will now enter the abyss together. We go to a realm older than time. It's still a babe in the eyes of eternity. You are expected there. Destiny must be fulfilled. May the miracle, judge of judges, hand down its ruling. Our time grows short. Take my hand as I rest my eyes. What wondrous land of nights and eternities draws us together once more, O oh silent penitent one. Did you not sense in your dreams my defeat, my sacrifice, my call? The call that stirred you from slumber. And now, we find ourselves in yet another dream. A dream that has granted me refuge from all. From my life. From my death. And even from the miracle. A place betwixt the prayers of the living and the laments of the dead. I have stood vigil over a possession of yours. The figure of the Twisted Father, who became your sword. The blade whose edges and barbs ended the supreme wills that controlled the miracle which left him orphaned. Penitent One. You must return the sword to its original state to prevent the new psalm, the birth of the sun, the rebirth of the miracle itself. To achieve this, you must force it to emerge from a chest of deep mourning and repentance, but one free from sin. When you feel mea culpa in your hand, when you feel it's a in this dream, I will continue to wait until... <gasps> I understand, Master. I feel the power you spoke of in my dreams. It burns in my hands. Its sacrilegious virtue will make them tremble before me. Here lies an ancient blessing of the miracle itself. A miracle of another age now long forgotten. Dark is the cloud that casts a shadow on my thoughts. Destiny, still reflected in eternal scrolls, blurs and shifts with changing inks. They are transformed under the beauteous quill of the miracle. A 
ribbon of crimson, having slipped through my trembling fingers, takes flight towards sacred confines. Penitent one, follow the trail marked by the breeze of chance to the threshold where wind turns to prophecy.